One of the most perplexing and poignant aspects of Princess Diana's legacy is the enigma surrounding her final resting place. Despite being adored by millions worldwide, her burial site has remained off-limits to the public ever since her tragic funeral in 1997. Tucked away on an island in the tranquil Oval Lake, Diana's grave is shrouded in solitude and secrecy. This secluded sanctuary only adds to the mystique surrounding her untimely death. Why was such a beloved figure laid to rest in such secrecy? What secrets does her tomb hold? Find the answer in our video. Reportedly, the final resting place of Princess Diana holds a multitude of symbolic and practical considerations, reflecting both the traditions of British royalty and the deep affection with which she was regarded by the public. One of the most striking aspects of her burial was the use of a lead-lined coffin, a tradition observed by British royals for centuries due to its preservation capabilities. Princess Diana's coffin, as reported by Metro, weighed a quarter ton due to its lead lining. This choice was not merely ceremonial. Lead-lined coffins are known for their ability to create an airtight seal, slowing the decomposition process and preserving the body for an extended period. By keeping out moisture and other external elements, lead-lined coffins ensure that the remains are safeguarded and maintained in a dignified state. Despite her change in title following her divorce from Prince Charles, Princess Diana was laid to rest as a British royal, a testament to the enduring love and reverence she commanded from the public. This decision was affirmed by a Buckingham Palace spokesperson who acknowledged that Diana's funeral incorporated elements reflecting the affection with which the princess was held by the people. However, the decision to lay Princess Diana to rest at Althorpe Estate, rather than alongside much of her bloodline at St. Mary the Virgin Church in Great Barrington, marked a poignant moment in the legacy of the Spencer family. It was a choice steeped in personal reflection, familial tradition, and a deep-seated desire to honor Diana's memory in a way that prioritized privacy and tranquility. At the heart of this decision was Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, the ninth Earl Spencer. He bore the weight of ensuring that Diana's final resting place would be a sanctuary, shielded from the prying eyes of the world. Concerns about public safety loomed large in the aftermath of Diana's tragic passing. The outpouring of grief from admirers and the relentless scrutiny of the media threatened to encroach upon the family's grief and disrupt their ability to mourn in peace. Here's why Charles chose the Althorpe Estate. In 1976, a significant chapter in Princess Diana's life began when she and her family relocated to Althorpe House, an estate steeped in history and grandeur. This stunning mansion, situated in the heart of Northamptonshire, boasts an incredible 90 rooms, including a library, a saloon, a billiard room, and a picture gallery, as detailed by Hello! magazine. Althorpe House has been a cherished residence of the Spencer family since the early 1500s, enveloping generations of memories and a storied past. However, the mansion's rich history is not without its mysteries. For years, whispers of ghostly apparitions and supernatural occurrences have circulated, adding an eerie allure to its majestic halls. Despite these rumors, Princess Diana found solace and joy in the sprawling estate. According to BBC News, Diana loved the grounds and house, despite rumors of ghosts haunting its many corridors, halls, and rooms. The significance of Althorpe House in Diana's life extends beyond its architectural splendor and ghostly legends. It was here, within these historic walls, that Diana first met Prince Charles, a meeting that would ultimately lead to her becoming one of the most beloved and iconic figures in modern history. This encounter marked the beginning of a fairy tale that captivated the world, set against the backdrop of a house that had witnessed centuries of history. In choosing Althorpe Estate as Diana's burial site, Charles sought to create a haven where his nephews, Prince William and Prince Harry, could visit their mother without the intrusion of crowds or cameras. 
His devotion to safeguarding their privacy was unwavering. Driven by a profound understanding of the importance of allowing them to grieve and remember their mother in their own time and on their own terms. In interviews, Charles spoke eloquently about the significance of Althorpe Estate as a final resting place for Diana. He emphasized the tranquility of the estate, its sprawling grounds enveloped in a serene ambiance that seemed to echo Diana's own spirit of grace and compassion. For Charles, it was essential that Diana's burial site be a place of solace and reflection, where her sons could find comfort in the loving embrace of family and the timeless beauty of the English countryside. His sentiments were echoed in his writings, most notably in his 1998 book, Althorpe, The Story of an English House. In these pages, Charles articulated the collective agreement of the Spencer family that Althorpe Estate was the most fitting location for Diana's final resting place. Its beauty and tranquility served as a testament to her enduring legacy, a place where her memory could be cherished and honored for generations to come. The placement of Princess Diana's grave on a small island in the heart of Althorpe Estate's ornamental oval lake stands as a testament to the Spencer family's unwavering commitment to honoring her memory with reverence and dignity. This secluded and serene location was chosen with meticulous care, embodying the family's desire to ensure that Diana's final resting place remains a sanctuary untouched by the intrusion of the outside world. The island, nestled amidst the tranquil waters of the Oval Lake, offers a sense of seclusion and tranquility that befits the solemnity of Diana's resting place. Its isolation serves as a poignant symbol of the distance the Spencer family wishes to maintain between Diana and the public gaze, allowing her to find eternal peace away from the prying eyes of the curious or the sensationalist. During Diana's funeral in 1997, a temporary walkway was constructed to provide access to the island for mourners and dignitaries. However, in the years that followed, the family made the deliberate decision to remove the walkway, effectively deterring any unauthorized visitors from reaching the site. This act of removal underscores their unwavering determination to protect Diana's grave from unwanted intrusion ensuring that her memory remains undisturbed by those who seek to exploit or sensationalize her legacy. Charles Spencer, in his poignant reflections captured in his book, sheds light on the intentional remoteness of Diana's gravesite. He describes the Oval Lake as a natural barrier, serving to shield her resting place from the interventions of the insane and ghoulish. The thick mud surrounding the island further reinforces this defense, presenting an additional obstacle to deter any who might attempt to trespass upon Diana's sacred space. The Oval Lake at Althorpe Estate holds a rich history steeped in the traditions and passions of the Spencer family. Designed by the esteemed landscape architect Samuel Lappage in the 19th century, this picturesque body of water was conceived during an era when English winters were markedly colder, providing ideal conditions for the frosty pursuit of ice skating. According to Charles Spencer, the ninth Earl Spencer, the creation of Oval Lake was influenced by his family's fondness for this timeless winter pastime. In an Instagram post shared in October 2022, Charles offered insights into the origins of Oval Lake, revealing that its inception was driven by his family's love for ice skating. The frigid winters of yesteryears provided ample opportunity for this beloved activity, inspiring the Spencer family to incorporate a scenic lake into the landscape of Althorpe Estate. Oval Lake thus emerged as both a functional and aesthetic feature of the estate, serving as a venue for leisurely ice skating excursions amidst the idyllic beauty of the English countryside. However, beyond its recreational purpose, Oval Lake assumed a deeper significance with the passage of time. Its tranquil waters and secluded island became emblematic of the family's cherished memories and enduring traditions. Ultimately, it would come to serve as the solemn resting place of Princess Diana, adding a layer of poignancy and reverence to its storied legacy, 
the juxtaposition of Oval Lake's recreational origins with its role as Diana's final resting place highlights the complex intertwining of history, tradition, and personal sentiment at Althorpe Estate. What began as a simple indulgence in winter pastimes evolved into a timeless symbol of familial love and remembrance, encapsulating the essence of the Spencer family's connection to their ancestral home. Today, Oval Lake stands as a tranquil oasis amidst the verdant landscape of Althorpe Estate, its serene waters mirroring the timeless beauty of the English countryside. And while the icy embrace of winter may have given way to gentler seasons, the legacy of Oval Lake endures a testament to the enduring spirit of the Spencer family and their enduring bond with Princess Diana, forever immortalized in the tranquil embrace of its waters. The path leading to Oval Lake at Althorpe Estate is adorned with a poignant tribute to the life and legacy of Princess Diana, comprising 36 majestic oak trees, each symbolizing a year of her remarkable journey. This touching homage, reported by The Sun in August 2023, serves as a living memorial to Diana's enduring presence and the indelible mark she left on the world. The planting of these oak trees was a collaborative effort, with members of both the royal family and Diana's own family coming together to honor her memory in a profound and tangible way. Among those who participated in this heartfelt gesture were the late Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, whose deep affection for Diana was well known, as well as King Charles, Prince William, and Prince Harry. Alongside them stood members of Diana's family, including her father, John Spencer, and her brother, Charles Spencer, the ninth Earl Spencer, united in their shared grief and determination to preserve Diana's memory for future generations. The significance of the oak trees extends far beyond their role as mere symbols of Diana's lifespan. Oak trees have long been revered for their strength, endurance, and resilience, qualities that mirror Diana's own spirit and legacy. As these trees take root and grow, they serve as living reminders of Diana's enduring impact on the world, her legacy continuing to flourish and inspire long after her passing. The path lined with these majestic oak trees provides a solemn avenue for visitors to pay their respects to Princess Diana as they make their way to Oval Lake. Each step taken along this path is imbued with a sense of reverence and reflection as visitors pause to contemplate the life and legacy of a woman who captured the hearts of millions around the globe. As the seasons change and the oak trees mature, their branches reaching ever skyward, they stand as silent sentinels, bearing witness to the passage of time and the enduring legacy of Princess Diana. And though she may no longer walk among us, her spirit lives on in the rustling leaves and whispering winds of Althorpe Estate, a timeless tribute to a beloved icon of compassion, grace, and humanity. While her final resting place remains private, the temple offers a sacred space for visitors to reflect on Diana's remarkable life and the profound impact she made on the world. The history of the temple dates back to the 1880s, when it was purchased for a mere three pounds by John, the fifth Earl Spencer, Diana's great-great-grandfather. Originally intended as a place of contemplation and respite, the building has since been transformed into a lasting tribute to Diana's memory. Its classical architecture evokes a sense of timeless elegance, providing a fitting backdrop for honoring the beloved princess. Situated amidst the picturesque landscape of Althorpe Estate, the temple serves as a sanctuary for visitors seeking to pay their respects to Diana. As they approach the tranquil surroundings of this solemn monument, they are greeted by two tablets bearing Diana's name and immortalizing her words. One tablet features a poignant quote that encapsulates Diana's profound empathy and tireless dedication to humanitarian causes. Nothing brings me more happiness than trying to help the most vulnerable people in society. It is a goal and an essential part of my life, a kind of destiny. Whoever is in distress can call on me. I will come running wherever they are. 
These heartfelt words resonate with Diana's enduring legacy of compassion and service, serving as a guiding light for those who visit the temple to honor her memory. As visitors step inside the temple, they are enveloped by a sense of reverence and contemplation. The tranquil atmosphere invites reflection on Diana's extraordinary life. Her tireless advocacy for the marginalized and downtrodden, and her enduring legacy of compassion and kindness. Whether they come to offer prayers, lay flowers, or simply find solace in quiet contemplation, visitors to the temple are united in their reverence for Princess Diana and the profound impact she made on the world. And though she may no longer walk among us, her spirit lives on in the timeless beauty of Althorpe Estate and in the hearts of all who are touched by her enduring legacy. In addition to the heartfelt quote adorning one of the tablets at the temple, another bears a poignant excerpt from the eulogy delivered by Charles, the ninth Earl Spencer, during Princess Diana's solemn funeral at Westminster Abbey. This moving tribute captures the depth of Charles's love and admiration for his sister, honoring her as a woman of unparalleled beauty, complexity, and uniqueness. The words, we give thanks for the life of a woman I am so proud to be able to call my sister, the unique, the complex, the extraordinary and irreplaceable Diana, whose beauty both internal and external will never extinguish from our minds, resonate with the profound sense of loss felt by those who knew and cherished Diana. Furthermore, Charles's devotion to preserving Diana's memory extends beyond the temple, he opened a museum dedicated to her memory on the grounds of Althorpe Estate, offering visitors a poignant glimpse into her extraordinary life and legacy. This museum, which operated for a time, allowed paying visitors the opportunity to view a treasure trove of artifacts that once belonged to the princess, including her iconic dresses, exquisite tiaras and jewelry, and other cherished mementos. Alongside these tangible reminders of Diana's royal splendor, the museum also housed more intimate artifacts, such as personal photographs, heartfelt letters, and cherished home movies, providing a poignant insight into Diana's private world. In keeping with Diana's spirit of compassion and altruism, Charles made a solemn vow to donate a substantial portion of the museum's earnings to his sister's memorial charity ensuring that her legacy of humanitarianism and kindness would continue to benefit those in need. Though the museum eventually closed its doors in 2014, the public can still pay homage to Princess Diana's memory by visiting the Temple and Althorpe Estate during the summer months. These sacred grounds serve as enduring tributes to Diana's enduring legacy, offering visitors the opportunity to reflect on her remarkable life and the profound impact she made on the world. On the, wor the poignant connection between Princess Diana's memory and her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, is palpable in the moments of quiet reflection they shared with their loved ones. Prior to their much-anticipated wedding on April 29, 2011, Prince William and his bride-to-be, Kate Middleton, embarked on a deeply personal journey to Althorpe Estate, where Diana rests in eternal peace. In a touching gesture of reverence and remembrance, Prince William and Kate made the pilgrimage to Diana's gravesite, as reported by the Mirror. Hand in hand, they walked the hallowed grounds of Althorpe, surrounded by the serene beauty of the estate. Boarding a boat to reach the secluded island where Diana lies, the couple carried with them a bouquet of flowers, a poignant tribute to the beloved princess who had touched their lives in countless ways. As they stood before Diana's final resting place, Prince William and Kate bowed their heads in solemn tribute, offering prayers and silent gratitude for the profound impact Diana had on their lives. With gentle reverence, they placed the flowers upon her grave, a symbolic gesture of love and remembrance that spoke volumes about the enduring bond between mother and sons. But their pilgrimage did not end there. Prince William, eager to share more of his cherished memories with Kate, led her to the nearby Arboretum, where he and his brother, Prince Harry, had planted trees as children. 
Here, amidst the tranquil beauty of the estate, Prince William and Kate found solace and reflection, surrounded by the living legacy of their mother's love and the enduring bond of family. Besides, the 25th anniversary of Princess Diana's passing in 2022 marked a deeply personal moment for her youngest son, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan Markle. On this poignant occasion, Prince Harry decided to share with Meghan a sacred part of his heritage by bringing her to Oval Lake at Althorpe Estate for the first time. This pilgrimage held profound significance for Prince Harry, offering him an opportunity to reflect on his cherished memories of his mother and share them with his beloved wife. In his deeply introspective memoir, Spare, published in 2023, Prince Harry recounted the poignant journey he and Meghan undertook to Oval Lake. With tenderness and vulnerability, he described the moment he helped Meghan into the boat their hands intertwined as they embarked on this intimate voyage of remembrance. As they navigated the tranquil waters of the lake, Prince Harry's heart swelled with emotion, his thoughts filled with memories of his beloved mother. However, their journey was not without its challenges. The boat wobbled precariously as Meghan found her seat in the stern, prompting Prince Harry to quicken his steps and steady their vessel. Despite his best efforts, the oars proved stubbornly uncooperative, refusing to propel them forward. Stuck in the shallows, ensnared by the thick mud that clung to the lake bottom, Prince Harry and Meghan found themselves in need of assistance. In a poignant moment of serendipity, Prince Harry's uncle, Charles Spencer, appeared at the water's edge, offering them a helping hand. With a gentle push, he freed the boat from the grip of the mud allowing Prince Harry and Meghan to continue their journey across the tranquil expanse of Oval Lake. As they glided across the mirrored surface of the water, Prince Harry and Meghan found solace in each other's presence, their shared love and devotion serving as a beacon of light in the midst of their shared grief. In that sacred moment, surrounded by the timeless beauty of Althorpe Estate, they felt the presence of Princess Diana enveloping them in a comforting embrace, her spirit guiding them forward with love and grace. In his memoir, Spare, Prince Harry candidly shared the complexity of his emotions as he brought Meghan to meet his late mother for the first time. Despite the challenges and the bittersweet nature of the occasion, Prince Harry felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude and longing, as he introduced Meghan to the woman who had left an indelible mark on his life. At the heart of this pilgrimage was Prince Harry's desire to share his mother's final resting place with Meghan, the woman he affectionately referred to as the girl of my dreams. In a deeply poignant moment captured in his memoir, Prince Harry expressed his profound sense of fulfillment as he realized that, at long last, he was bringing Meghan home to meet his mother. But amidst the joy and anticipation, there was also a palpable sense of longing and grief. Prince Harry knew that his mother's absence would cast a shadow over their visit, reminding him of the void left by her untimely passing. Yet, in spite of the pain, there was also a glimmer of hope as Prince Harry and Meghan sought solace in each other's embrace. As they stood before Diana's grave, Prince Harry and Meghan took a few precious moments alone with her, seeking clarity and guidance in the midst of their shared grief. In a deeply intimate moment captured in his memoir, Prince Harry recounted how Meghan knelt before Diana's final resting place, her eyes closed and palms pressed against the stone. In that sacred moment of communion, Meghan sought solace and strength from the spirit of her late mother-in-law, finding comfort in the quiet stillness of the surrounding landscape. In 2017, Princess Diana's final resting place at Althorpe Estate underwent a monumental transformation, marking the most significant renovation of the gardens in over three and a half centuries. This ambitious project heralded as the first major revamp of the gardens in 350 years sought to honor Diana's memory with a fitting tribute befitting her enduring legacy. The announcement of the renovation, as conveyed on the Althorpe website and reported by Express, underscored the profound significance of the endeavor. 
the Oval Lake, where Princess Diana was laid to rest on September 6, 1997, emerged as the focal point of the redesign, undergoing an extensive transformation to commemorate her life and legacy. The ambitious undertaking aimed to breathe new life into the serene waters of the lake, creating a timeless memorial that would stand as a testament to Diana's enduring impact on the world. With meticulous attention to detail, the renovation sought to infuse the oval lake with elements that reflected Diana's spirit and personality. Every aspect of the redesign was carefully considered, from the selection of indigenous flora to the placement of commemorative markers with the overarching goal of creating a tranquil oasis that would honor Diana's memory for generations to come. The timeline for the renovation was equally significant, with the project slated for completion in time for the 20th anniversary of Diana's passing in August 2017. This milestone anniversary served as a poignant reminder of Diana's enduring legacy, prompting the Spencer family to embark on this ambitious endeavor to ensure that her memory would be honored in a meaningful and lasting way. One of the most poignant aspects of the renovation was the replanting of rhododendrons and forget-me-nots, Princess Diana's favorite flower, which held profound sentimental value for both her and her family. The inclusion of forget-me-nots in the redesign was a poignant homage to Princess Diana's enduring legacy of love and compassion. These delicate blooms, with their azure petals and delicate fragrance, held a special place in Diana's heart, evoking memories of her childhood and the cherished moments she shared with her brother, Charles Spencer. In a touching recollection, Charles shared with People magazine how he had gifted Diana a pot of blue forget-me-nots when they were children, a gesture of love and affection that would resonate throughout their lives. The replanting of forget-me-nots at Diana's gravesite served as a poignant reminder of the enduring bond between siblings and the timeless love that transcends the boundaries of time and space. As the delicate blooms adorned the landscape, they whispered of Diana's enduring presence and the indelible mark she left on the hearts of all who knew her. In addition to forget-me-nots, rhododendrons were also replanted at the site, adding a burst of vibrant color to the tranquil surroundings of the oval lake. These majestic flowers, with their lush foliage and vibrant hues, served as a fitting tribute to Diana's vibrant spirit and zest for life. The culmination of the renovation was marked by a rededication ceremony attended by Prince Harry, Prince William, Kate Middleton, and their children, Prince George, and Princess Charlotte. This solemn occasion provided an opportunity for the royal family to come together and honor Diana's memory in a meaningful and heartfelt manner. As they gathered at Diana's gravesite, surrounded by the beauty of the newly renovated landscape, they found solace and comfort in each other's presence, united in their love and admiration for the late princess. What do you think about the secrets surrounding Princess Diana's burial place? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.